Our Father in heaven, holy and true your name. I've been asking myself this week, what in my life have I truly yearned for? I've reflected back on some of the things that I've yearned for and received. Back in high school, I yearned for a complete family. My parents were divorced when I was going into high school. Then a little later on in high school, I remember yearning for a new guitar. And I saved my money and with a little help from my mom, I was able to buy that new guitar. More recently, I've yearned for happiness and peace, the end of hunger and war and violence and abuse. I've been wrestling with a passage this week, a passage that I'm preaching on, is found in all of the synoptic gospels. The word synoptic, by the way, comes from a Greek word meaning seeing events together or alike. The synoptic gospels are Matthew, Mark, and Luke. These three gospels have similar events and stories of Jesus, but also they have some differences. The story or the passage I preach upon is recorded in Mark's gospel. And we find in this same story in Matthew and Luke as well. Mark's gospel, we believe, was the earliest gospel written. In fact, some believe that Mark's gospel was a guide for the other gospel writers, Matthew and Luke, as they were writing their own stories of Jesus' life. In this passage in Mark chapter 10, verses 17 through 31, we read the story of a rich man who comes to Jesus with a question about eternal life. Jesus asks if he has followed some of the commandments, and the man says that he has. But then Jesus says that he lacks one thing. Go, Jesus says, and sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. The story goes on to say that the man went away shocked and grieving, for he had many possessions. Jesus then talks about how hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. We've taken these words and some of the other words in this passage to mean that this man could not do what Jesus asked. But I wonder if that is the correct assumption. It makes sense for him to be shocked and grieved but was he shocked and grieved because he was told to sell what he owned? Or was he shocked and grieved because he was truly going to miss what he must sell to gain eternal life? What do you yearn for today? And does any of your yearning focus upon God or eternal life? I wonder if the rich man truly yearned for eternal life and as he encountered Jesus, as he was touched by him, I wonder if he could have been actually transformed and went ahead and did what Jesus said. Come on Sunday and hear more about this story in the Bible and how it has pinned me down. Or listen to the sermon on our website, www.saintphil.org. Hope to see you Sunday. Blessings and peace.